diligently. Protect my family and shield us from all harm. Oh Lord, no evil plans of the enemy against our life shall prosper. Oh Lord, everything that the enemies are plotting against our life, everything that are plotting against our destiny, oh Lord. Father, oh Lord, may you cover us and protect us in the mighty name of Jesus. No evil plans, no evil plots, no evil projections of the enemy shall affect us in the name of Jesus. Our going out and our coming in will cover with the blood of Jesus Christ. Whatever we shall do, oh Lord, we cover with the blood of Jesus Christ. But oh Lord, may you give us the grace, oh Lord, that we shall do all that you are, all that we are expected of to do, oh Lord, diligently. What is it? Is he not your son too? Please stop giving me that look. I'm finding it difficult to sleep son. Mm. If you're finding it difficult to sleep, mm, then do yourself a great good. Mm? Go and tell that boy to stop disturbing me. For God's sake, I cannot battle cases standing all day in court and come to my house instead of resting. Eh? I'm here battling insomnia because of an aspiring demon chaser under my roof. I am a nurse too. And I have been busy with my patient too in the hospital. What is this? If you're worried, go talk to your son. And stop pushing me in front. Making me look like a bad scapegoat. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should remind you if you have forgotten. Listen, maybe you've forgotten your role or who you are in this family. You are still the woman of this marriage. Hmm? And I am the head of this family. Hmm? With powers and authority. I hereby delegate you with that powers. Go. You now have the power of Atene. Go and tell that your son. That your beloved wannabe pastor. To stop, stop. Just praying. Sorry. You cannot set me up against God. Heavenly race is an individual affair. So please. Do not use your own and spoil my own. Biku, excuse me. In Brooklyn. I will go. Protect us, O King of Glory. Protect us, O King of Glory. But all of may we not. Dad, you're here. Have you come to join me? <laughs> no, on the contrary. <laughs> you know, your voice was very boisterous. Yeah. You know, it was very loud that I could not sleep. So I said, let me come and give you moral support. <laughs> it is good to remember your credo in the days of your youth, like you're doing. Yes. Keep it up, keep it up. Yes. Keep Thanks, it up. Dad. Thank you. But you should join me. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know, I've been standing all day yeah. in the human court of law, rendering righteous judgments. <laughs> I need to go and sleep for the journey is far. You keep up the good work. <laughs> keep up. <laughs> God will give you strength, Dad. Go and sleep while I battle with the devil. Amen. Battle them. You know, you are David. Yes. And the Goliaths, the demons of your mother's side, hey, they are very assertive. Yes. Deal with them. Crush those Goliaths. Yes. Go, my son. <laughs> Go in this thy might. Thanks, Dad. Continue, continue. Yes. Ancient of days, as old as you are, as old as you are, you will never change. Ancient of days, as old as you are, as old. Forgive me, Lord, for interrupting this prayer. But you have always asked that we obey and respect our parents on earth because you have handed us over to them as they will account for what they have made of us when they return to you. Forgive me, Lord. And oh, Lord, please take away every distraction. Let me guess. When you got there, you became speechless. You might have encouraged him to go ahead, if I'm not mistaken. Laughing, laughing like hyenas. Let me laugh. Listen, even hyenas have serious moments. Have you forgotten that I'm a deacon in church? How do you want my son to see me if I tell him to stop praying? And I am the demon in the church. Who will go against God? You really need to stop this your holier than thou attitude. It's not helping you or anyone. Having a position in the church that you cannot live up to is like trying to deceive God. Hmm. Evangelist Matilda, hmm. are you any better? Look at you, a thick black pot 
calling Kettle Black. Kagri, I am a sinner. Yes, Christ came for people like me. I am not denying it, too. but you, I'm sure when I get to heaven, I will not find you there. How will you find me there when you will not even enter? Mm. If you listen carefully, hmm? you don't even need to listen carefully. He's still praying there. Go and join your son. Hmm? I'm tired of both of you in this house. You are driving me crazy. And where are you going to? Hmm. I'm going to a place where Evangelist Matilda and her wannabe pastor son can let me sleep in peace. Keep your good morning to yourself. What's that? And why are you ringing the bell this morning? I was ringing the bell to wake your mom up. You always wake late, so I bought this bell to help wake you up. Respect your young age, young man. Eh? What do you need a bell for? Eh? I thought it would be easier since it seems like an alarm. An alarm? What sort of an alarm is this loud? Eh? Even a dead body, if he or she wishes to wake up, you don't need something this loud to wake them up. Look, respect your young age, you. Hi. By the way, Dad, why are you sleeping here? Did you have a fight with Mom? No, no, no. How can I have a fight with the wife of my youth? Eh? You know, last night when we finished talking, yeah. eh, the Bible says, Come ye from among them You're and right. be ye separate. Right. Eh, so I decided to separate myself down here, I not see. to disturb. It's good eh? to serve the Lord. Always, always. Yeah. Eh? Please don't be carrying this thing about. It's can damage the auditory. And where is Mom? Okay, mom, I yes. she's still sleeping. She's in the room. Yes. Hey, go and wake her up. <laughs> come, 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 come. Take this bell. You know, the demons from your mother's side are very stubborn and recalcitrant. <laughs> you use this bell. Sound the alarm in Jerusalem. <laughs> She'll come out. Hi. What kind of a child? David, sorry, what's the meaning of this? Sorry, Mom. Dad asked me to use it since it's the easiest way to wake you up. Dad asked you to use this? Yes. It's time to pray. Let's go. Let's go. Praising the Lord. into your care. Father, oh Lord, we pray, oh Lord Jesus, that as you are about to go out today, that your presence shall be with us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. No weapons of the enemy shall prosper against our life in Jesus' name. May you bless our handwork this day in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, oh King of glory, we commit, oh Lord, these sick people. Oh Lord, we pray, Father, Father, for your healing upon their lives, oh Lord. Do not allow them to die in their sickness in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, oh King of glory, we commit all those, oh Lord Jesus, that their goods are on the high sea. We pray, Father, 
Father, that you shall not allow their goods to sink inside the sea in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, O King of glory, may the custom people not seize their goods in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, O Lord, I pray everlasting, Father, for those students, O Lord, who are willing, O Lord, to study, to further their education, but their parents are not capable of doing that for them. Father, O Lord, may you sponsor them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, O Lord, may they never be school dropouts in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, O King of glory, we pray everlasting, Father, O Lord, for those in the motherless baby's home. Father, O Lord, we pray everlasting, Father, that you shall father them in the mighty Amen. name of Jesus. All right, just tell her to wait. I'll be on my way soon, okay? Yeah. And where do you think you're going? Work, huh? of course. Is breakfast ready? Breakfast? Ready? <laughs> Are you supposed to be feeding on miracles? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Huh? We came into this room together from morning devotion. So who prepared the breakfast? <laughs> do you want me to remind you of your statutory and customary responsibility as the wife of this house that is legally, religiously, and traditionally married to Barrister Dickin? No, sir. Good. But you forgot to tell me that as your wife, I should be omnipresent. Maybe it's high time Barrister Dickey got used to eating outside, like every eligible bachelor. And I hope that a beautiful woman will someday serve me delicious meals. <laughs> I'm trying my best. And if you want me to be fully responsible for your feeding, be ready to go to work late, or better still, talk to your son. <laughs> I want to visit your hospital since we're on break. David. Mom. Why do you want to come to my place of work? And you've not asked to go to your daddy's office, even when you know the place belongs to him. His office is a place where even the guilty pay to become innocent. I do not wish to go there. Your office is a place where the sick get healed and the tents are calmed. But you know I don't have a personal office there. I do not need to be in an office. I just need to be there for 30 minutes. Then I'll leave. Okay. Since you say so. Yes, mom. I'll send the driver to come and pick you after lesson. Okay. And take you back home when you're done. Is that clear? Yes, mom. Thanks, mom. It's all right. It's all right. Yes. She has been in this hospital for six months now. Six months? Yes, son. That's a long time. Yeah, son. Come, let's go. Mom. Yes? Can I spend a little time here? I'll come find you once I'm done. All right, when you're done, meet me in what to. Just ask any of the nurses, they'll direct you. Okay, Mom. I don't know you, but I know you have the will to live. You will be healed in Jesus' name. Yahweh, your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle walking. Your name is
Matilda? Yes. What is it? You've been like this since you returned from work. Is anything the matter? Yeah. Come on, speak. Something happened today that got me thinking. That's good. David insisted to come to the hospital today with me. And I asked the driver to bring him after school. So he visited a woman in coma. And soon after he left, the woman regained consciousness. Seriously? Yes. What did he do? I don't know what he did. But for the first time, I'm thinking there's something about David that we seem not to see. Whatever it is, I believe the right thing for David now is to focus on his studies. Every other thing will manifest later. And please, do not take him to the hospital. Keep children away. That is what you've always advocated to prevent nosocomial infection. Is that not what you said? Hospital acquired infections. Please, okay? Don't take it there again. Hmm? Now, go to bed. Hmm? Go to sleep. Yes, who's there? Hold on. Bella Isabella. <laughs> Madam. No, 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 no. So if I didn't invite you people, you would not come. Why not? Ah, Isabella. <laughs> How are you, Bella? Please come in. Thank you, thank you. Oh my god! Good to see you! Ah, Bella! <laughs> You're a big girl now, honestly. Oh, I think very soon. <laughs> I'll be on the front seat. My love. I'm glad to see you. Let's see how I'm going to ask you. He's in his room. Come, 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 come. come. <laughs> Isabella, Bella. But I've been told you've forgotten his room. Go upstairs. <laughs> hmm? By the light. <laughs> David is there. Yeah. Bella Isabella. Bella, it's good to see you. What's plan? Bella has been here, of course. Don't you know that the presence of Bella in this house will make David behave a child his age? All this overzealousness of David in serving God will drop and he will behave like a normal child again. Is Don't that why they it? are here? Technically, yes, but shh, they are not aware. That is the reason I invited them. Hmm. Strategist, barrister, DK. <laughs> Barista DK. Say it again. Say it again. DK. Say it again. That is my name. <laughs> Very soon we can sleep in peace. Huh? At least since this child began this thing, I always fall quarreling my cat and dog. You know, as my I'm about to bail you from some stress, so you know what to do. <laughs> bah. I thought you were going to give me a hug. Please give me. This strategy is bagam. Father, you said in your word that where two or three are gathered in your name, that you are there. Yes. Come forth, O oh Lord, and be with us. Amen. Protect us and our family. Amen. Thanks for uniting us again. Thank you, I Jesus. I know this is for a purpose. I will pray this purpose is fulfilled. Amen. Calm down. Calm down, you said. Calm down. Why are you behaving as if I've done the worst thing in history? Huh? What will you call what you did? 
You were so excited about your foolproof plan that you've got us into a more terrible plan. We had just one and we almost lost it. What are we going to do about the two, Parisa? Why are you being so pessimistic? Eh? You're being pessimistic. Unlike you, you don't even bring any ideas. And you keep criticizing, criticizing ideas. This is just plan A. Eh? Calm down. By the time I deploy plan B, plan C, I put it to you that David will behave a child his age. Calm down. Barrister, watch your pride. Woman, there's nothing about pride here. I know that you don't believe in anybody or even anything because you don't believe in yourself. But calm down. I will prove to you beyond reasonable doubt. By the time I deploy strategies one, two, three, these stratagems will put David, he will behave a boy his age. Calm down. Your face does not look bright. Is anything the matter? What's the problem? Bella. Bella is the problem. Bella. Why Bella? I just hope she doesn't constitute a problem in this family. No. I don't think she will be a problem here. With David here, she will probably adjust and act her age. I sincerely hope so. I wouldn't want to entertain any drama here. Not at all. She knows we are not at home now. And she would not like to get us embarrassed here. So I believe she will behave herself. Hmm? You think so? Yeah, that's what I think. Dad, what are you doing? Have you prayed? Mom, have you prayed? You are just coming and you are asking us if we have prayed. Eh? Okay, pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's pray and thank God for the provision of this food. Father, oh, thank you, Lord, for making provision for us this day. Thank you, Lord, for making provision for us this day. Thank you, Lord, for making provision for us this day. Thank you, Lord, for making provision for us this day. Thank you, Lord, for making provision for us this day. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's pray that God will provide for those who are hungry but do not have food to eat. Let's open our mouth and begin to pray. Start praying, you're not praying. Father, oh, King of glory, we pray for us this day. For those, oh, Lord Jesus, who are hungry, oh, Lord, but have no food, oh, King of glory. Father, oh Lord, make provision for them. Make adequate provision for them that they shall have more than enough, oh Lord, to eat, oh Lord Jesus Christ. Father, oh Lord, provide them with food in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray. We pray in Jesus' name. Let's pray against every scarcity of food. Let's pray that as God has provided us with this one, that He shall continue providing us with more food. Let's open up our mouth and begin to pray. Start praying or not praying. Father, oh King of glory, we pray for lasting Father for your provisions. Oh, King of glory. Father, oh Lord, we pray for last thing, Father, that you shall provide us, oh Lord, with more food, oh Lord. Do not allow oh Lord, oh Lord, to beg bread, oh King of glory. Father, oh Lord, open doors unto us that we shall be able, oh Lord, to buy more food, oh King of glory. And we shall not lack any food in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's pray that as we are eating our food, that God will make the food to be digested in our body, that the food shall not hang anywhere. Let's open our mouth and begin to pray. Father, oh King of glory, we pray for last day, Father, for everything that will make our food not to digest in our body. We pray everlasting Father, that you shall make the food to digest, O King of Glory. May our food digest well in the mighty name of Jesus. May our food digest well in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's pray against every spirit of sin. Every spirit of sin that wants to make us to sin while eating this food. Let's open our mouth and begin to pray against it. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Oh, King of glory, we pray everlasting Father against every spirit of sin. Every spirit that wants to make us to commit iniquity while eating this food. Every spirit that wants to make us to commit iniquity while eating this food. Oh, Lord, we come against it, oh, Lord, Jesus Christ, oh, Lord. And we refuse, oh, Lord, to sin while eating this food in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are 
prayed. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. For we know you have answered our prayer. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Jesus Christ. Who is it? I'm so disappointed with what happened this evening. Our parents just proved to us that they don't have faith in God like we do. They just acted like unbelievers. Canal people who say one thing and do another. I will have to think of what to do to change their lives, to make them better believers and good examples to unbelievers. There is nothing we can do other than to keep praying to God to touch them. Yes, you're right. Prayer is the best key. But you have to add more force to it to make it work. <laughs> Darling, you see, <laughs> I was scared for her daughter. But you see, now I'm relieved. <laughs> You're getting relieved. Mm -hmm. When are you supposed to be more worried? Worried? Yes. When I now know that Bella, our daughter, is not the problem. Dave is the problem. Hmm? You see, he's the problem, not our daughter. <laughs> Have you thought about how destructive their combination will be? <laughs> Leave that for DK and Matilda. Our daughter is not the problem here. Dave is. You see, they see him as the ringleader of the gang. <laughs> they will see him as one who is influencing our daughter Bella. Can't you see it? <laughs> you have a point. <laughs> in the second thought, how can you influence someone you just met in less than four hours? <laughs> it's not happening. I, I don't know. <laughs> mm, I'm relieved. <laughs> That's interesting. It is my fault, but I must find a way. Please, don't bother so that you don't accumulate more troubles. Instead of asking you to show me the way, I would rather ask a blind man to show me the way so that if I miss my way, I will know I did so honorably. I just came up with a very brilliant idea. What is it? We have to organize a video. The whole family will be involved. That way, we'll draw them closer to God. Do you think they'll agree to attend? We have no choice. If they refuse to come out for the video, we'll take the video to their rooms. But first, let's go and inform them. Let's go. When we pray, we hear the voice loud as we wait. Nothing more matters to us. Honey? Honey? It's not I am mind. already here, please. Um, to what end do we owe this gathering? Could we please go straight to the objective of this assemblage? Because I have a lot of things to tidy up before going to bed. Please. Sorry, Dad, we called for the meeting. We'll go straight to the point. Better. Uh, so what is it? Considering how kindly the devil has pushed you to act, we, the kids of this family, have decided to pull our parents closer to God. But you have not gone straight to the point. We have decided to keep a video tonight to call forth the Almighty to take control of your bodies, spirits, and souls. In Brooklyn, a video. Yes. That's a good one. <laughs> Fantastic. You know when the Bible says we should pray yes. without ceasing. Yes. I think yes, I endorsed it 100%. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. No problem. Hey, look, we're in trouble in this house. We are in trouble. Ha! Huh? What is this? I was thinking by morning we'll be gone. And leave Bella behind for Matilda and her husband to face. But as it stands now, we are in for trouble already. 
we must strategize. Think out something. Something that will take us out of here. We must think. We cannot tell Dika Matilda that we are leaving. We just got here. They will not accept it. Leave what to tell them to me. I will make out an excuse. Hey, trust me. I will think out something outside the box. <laughs> In that case, you have to do it yourself. <laughs> Don't worry, my sweetheart. Eh? Huh? We are getting out of this place. <sighs> It's not right to leave the kids alone in this house. What's there? If they can't see us to hold the vigil with, they will just sleep off now. And you think they will just sleep? Have you thought of what they would do if they come to our room and we are not there? Mm-hmm. Highest, they get worried and sleep off. <laughs> but before they wake up in the morning, we'll be here. We are more comfortable with leaving Bella and David alone in this house. I'm not... Nye, 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 nye. It's time they bring a strategic strategy that will work. You bring your cha 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 If you don't want to leave, stay. Fantastic. At least they will have an adult presence to watch over them, babysit them during the night vigil. But for me, I won't stay. Nye, 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 nye. David, it's not like that. It's not like that. Then tell us how the four of you ended up at the gates. It's simple. You want to run away so they don't take part in the vigil. It's the work of the enemy. The devil used their fleshly desires to lead them away from salvation. My God in heaven will not let that happen. The vigil will hold and the devil will be put to shame. Dads, moms, you people can go and rest. The vigil will still hold and will shame the devil together. Yes. Bella, go and close the kitchen door. Why I close this one? In order to defeat the devil, we have to discipline our flesh. You all can go and sleep. See you later at the vigil. Powers. 
Because the Bible says that we're children of God are gathered, that the children of darkness are also gathering. Let's so good and want again to pray against every destruction, every sleeping spirit that we want to come into our midst this night. Oh, Pio, I want to get to pray. Push, pray until something happens. I can hear your voices. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, so madly, we pray against every spirit, oh Lord Jesus Christ, every sleeping spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Every destruction in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We come against them by the power of the Holy Ghost. And we declare and declare, oh Lord Jesus Christ, that their protection shall not stand in our midst, oh Lord. We decree and declare that their plans and plots, oh Lord, shall not prosper. Father, oh King of glory, thank you, Jesus. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let us pray that the abiding presence of God yes. shall be with us this day. Yes. That as we are going to pray, that we are going to have an encounter of the Holy Ghost. Yes. That we are going to be filled in the Holy Ghost so yes. long. And we are going to speak in our tongue. Let's Amen. open our mouth and begin to pray. Father, oh, King of glory, we pray for us in front of our presence in our midst, oh Lord. Let your presence abide with us, oh Lord Jesus Christ. Every power of darkness, every protection of darkness that we want to make us, oh Lord, not that we want to make us be children, not to be a success. That's what to use it to distract us. That's what to use whatsoever to distract us. We come against it by the power of the Holy Ghost. And we have an encounter with the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let your presence be with us. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let your presence, your presence, oh Lord, we pray everlasting Father, for your presence, oh Lord, upon our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray in Jesus' name. Let's pray and rededicate our lives into the heavens of the Lord. That the Lord shall take absolute control of our lives. That he shall take absolute control. That he shall be the director, the pilot of our lives. Lord of Jesus, I cast out every sleepy spirit. I cast out of his environment. In the name of Jesus. Yes. time correct? No, it's not correct. The time is waiting for me. Why didn't you wake me up? Jesus Christ. Why didn't you wake me up on time? 
Eh? I'm just waking up now. And after my shower, I came to wake you up. Jesus. I've always said it that this woman, you have a way of spoiling a very good day. Eh? Why didn't you wake me up first before waking yourself up? Eh? After you claim women, we are multitasking, multitasking. You're only being selfish. Woman, if anything funny happens in court today, you'll know the difference between a cockroach and a butterfly. Nonsensical. Stand there and be looking for who to blame. Sleeping. Well, a patient in was 13 needs your presence now. It's okay, I'm coming. <sighs> we hear the voice loud as we wait. And nothing more matters to us. Solution comes knocking at the door. How can this happen? This happen. Ha! What is the problem? The worst has happened. The worst has happened. What happened? What did the person say? Please, I want to know. Look, Mr. Charles, our neighbor, he called to tell me that part of our house just collapsed. What? Oh my God. Our house? How come? What part of the building? And I hope it's not the part where my expensive shoes and bags are. Look, I, I don't know. You I... don't know and you're still here. Go and find out if our properties are safe, please. Oh, you have a point there. Mm -hmm. mm. The rice is more delicious than the beans. The beans is delicious too. And you're here. Mom, come and join us. We made enough food for everyone. Made rice, mm -hmm. beans, mm -hmm. yam. Everything you need is in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. If I join them and eat now, questions will be coming from left and right. I can't accept this food. No way. Well, I'm not hungry, thank you. The way you're hungry, Leda. There's plenty food in the kitchen. Mm. Okay. I'm sorry, madam. Please, I'm very, very sorry. It was a self-inflicted conundrum. I took a medication that caused me to slip off. There's no need for that, Barista DK. The deal is done already. I'm sorry. Please, I am sorry. And I said there's no need for your apology. As the case has been good against me, Barista, because you didn't consider my case a serious one. Please, madam, it's <sighs> not like that. I see, we can appeal this case. See, this is Barista. Look, Barista, listen to me very carefully. I don't want to bother you. And don't ever bother me, please. I will give you just three days to get my money back to me. Refund my money. I need it back. Please, it hasn't gotten to that. I thought the video would solve the problem. But now I know we are up against a stronger force. And we need to rise up to the occasion. What more do you think we can do? Other than to continue to pray to God to touch them at the right time. Prayer will not be enough. We need to make them suffer their flesh so their spirit will be willing and quick. Are you saying we should make them fast? Exactly! Suffer the flesh so their body will obey God's word. I think that would be the best decision to make. Let us try and see how fast and far the devil runs away from them. Yes, when God touches their flesh, they will be and do his biddings. So, how are you feeling now? I'm perfectly okay. But I wonder why the doctor said I should be under observation. <laughs> so that we can make sure you're medically okay. My daughter, that's your son David. He's a blessing. God is going to use him to do more 
miracles mm -hmm. and wonders to this generation. Hmm? It's because you people started to train him early. That is why he was able to do this. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, in fact, I don't know what to say. There's a place in the Bible. They say, train up a child. In the way that he should go, and when he grows up, he will never depart from it. You always read your Bible. <laughs> My daughter, the least I forgot. In fact, may God bless you and your husband. May God grant you your husband, whatever you people want. Okay, ma. Yeah. If you need anything, you can call on me or any of the nurses. Okay. Okay, my daughter. Right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hey. How bad is the condition of the house? Very bad. I spoke with the landlord and he said the renovation will start in two days' time. Where are we going to stay now? Oh, did the landlord offer to give us a space? Look, calm down. You asked too many questions. Let me think. Ha! Huh. This is not the time to think. It is the time to act. How long will it take for the renovation to be over? I want to know. I don't know. But I think I will talk to DK. DK? Yes. I'm sure he will allow us to stay for some time till the renovation is over. We did agree. Hmm? I don't think they will accept this idea. Look, leave that to me. DK is a friend. Leave that to me. I will handle it my way. I'm sure DK will not say no to me. Huh? He will not say no to you. Let's hope and uh, let's sure. pray. I don't know what to do at this point. Look, my darling, let's trust God, okay? Mm. Hmm? Let's have faith in God. Alright? Hey! Mm. Shut up. <laughs> oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his praises with Daddy! Oh, DJ, move, 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 move back! I can see that the demons from your mother's side are already having a toll on your personal functionality. Do you have an idea? The height, the depth, and the scale of the colossal loss you caused for me today in the office? Sorry, Dad, but the Bible... Eh! The Bible word. Enough of this biblical, scriptural misappropriation. Simply because I gave you a leeway to encourage you in the way of the Lord. With that vigil, you've cost me a case today in court. Are you saying you could not defend your client in court? How could there be a defense? Eh? How could there be a defense when I arrived at the proceedings late? Thanks to you. Then maybe your client has been destined to lose the case. You should be happy God punish the real culprits. No, 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 no. Listen to yourself. The next time I come, <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, welcome, sir. Thank you. Welcome, you're welcome. Sir. Thank you. How? Oh, you didn't even tell us you're coming. It's okay. Go inside. Okay. Go inside. Go and continue reading your book. The next time I come back and you don't meet your ten chapters per day reading, you know what I'll do to you. Eh? Go, go, go and continue reading. Cool. Sir, please sit, sit. Thank you, my son. Ah, is the family. Oh, I love what I just saw. Oh, the scriptural reading. Mm, that's exactly how to train these children. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, eh? Daddy, you taught us. You said mm. we should raise these children in the way that you go. Hmm, that's true. And when they are grown, they will never depart from it. Oh, yes. Proverbs chapter twenty-two, verse six. Oh yes, sir. You know, we're trying to be like you. You know, this is the end time. Mm. Eh? We need to saturate these children with the word of God. Mm. That way they will be able to withstand the fiery darts of the enemy. Jesus. <laughs> thank you, sir. Jesus, thank you. Thank you. You you ah, may you be blessed. Amen. May you be blessed. Amen. May you be blessed. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. We really want to appreciate you for this visit. It is like an apostolic invasion of my condominium. It's, okay. it's a big blessing. It's a big blessing. It's okay. Thank you. It's okay. I actually appreciate you. Thank you, sir. I appreciate what you're doing with the kids. Um, and I want to assure you that mm. as long as there is God living in heaven, mm. 
Those children will make you proud. Amen. They will not just be a blessing to Amen. you alone. Amen. They will be a blessing to the entire group. Hallelujah. You're blessed. Amen. Amen daddy. You're blessed. Thank you, Daddy. Yeah. Thank you, Daddy. Ah, thank you, sir. May yes. God protect you for us. Amen. With all humility, Daddy. Yeah. Genuine men of God like you. As cast in this end times. <laughs> it's okay. May God keep you for us. It's daddy. okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. You, I will be at the midweek service. Oh, my God's grace. Very important. Yes. I'll be coming straight from the courts. I won't go home. Good, good. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. You're blessed, my son. Thank you, sir. Thank you for yeah. coming. We appreciate it. What's that? I thought I told you people to leave this place before I left this place. We thought you asked us to go inside because you wanted to discuss with the pastor. And so? Can you get, get stand up and leave this place, my friend? But dad, you lied. Lying is a sin. Get out of my presence before I open, before I open my eyes. Nonsense. Don't do it again. Lying is a sin. You go to hell fire. Nye, 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 nye. There's a lot of babes and sucklings here, so they didn't stretch. You want to start with me? Let me catch you here. Mr. Ayo, what is it? You're, you're not. You're looking downcast. What is the problem? All is not well. <laughs> I got a call earlier that part of our building fell. Jesus Christ. I went there to confirm it. <laughs> I hope your properties were not destroyed. Not altogether. I spoke with the landlord okay. and he told me that it would take some time to put the building together. So, where are the properties now? Well, thank God it didn't affect all the building. Okay. Huh. One of the rooms is safe, so I put my properties there. Well, well, but my only problem now is where to stay for the meantime while the landlord finishes the building. <laughs> is that the problem? <laughs> so, uh, why should you be looking for a place to stay while you're already here? Come on, Mr. Ayo. <laughs> you know uh, your family and your wonderful daughter, Bella. Very smart and intelligent. <laughs> You can stay here for as long as you want. That is not a problem at all. Come on, cheer up. Is that why you are looking sad? No, 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 no. <laughs> Come on. Thank okay. you very much, Barista DK. It's all right. You've really proven to be a friend. <laughs> no, I will no, never no, forget no. this question. No, no, no. You see, God has placed us here for such a time as this. <laughs> so we give glory to Jesus. Amen. <laughs> no, no, it's all right. Is that all? Oh, come on, <laughs> cheer up, cheer up, you know. <laughs> no, no, we are God place us in this position for such a time as this. Amen. Come on, come on, we give glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> so why are you angry because he asked for your help? Anger is an understatement. I am grossly vexed down to my soul. I am disgruntled. This is an abuse of friendship. Simply because he knows that I can't refuse him. No. Why didn't you refuse him? Oh, I should refuse him and be made to look like a bad person who could not help a friend in times of need? No, you need to be diplomatic about some of those things. You are the meaning of the word hypocrite. You are a hypocrite. Don't you dare, in your earthly life, call me or insinuate that I'm a hypocrite. If not that you're my wife. Barista Dickey could at least sue you for two or more count charges. First, for defamation of character or character assassination and for flagrant disregard for your matrimonial integrity. Don't you even dare insinuate anything. I am not insinuating anything. I am telling you who you are in reality. You are a hypocrite. Yes, that's who you are. You could not say no to him and you are angry here. You are a disgrace to so all Dickens. Are you sure you will even make heaven? Because from the look of things, you are moving away from it gradually. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, very good. That is Martin. Yeah, that's good. Good. 
Yeah. 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 Mom, Dad, I and Bella have an idea. Idea? Hmm. Yes. I hope it's the kind of idea that will bless everybody in this house. I hope so. I'm scared of the kind of idea both of you have together. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Dad, an idea that will draw this family closer to God. Yes. Hmm. In that case, may we know what this idea is That's all about? Exactly. This is because we're living in dangerous times and only God can see us through. If we're far from God, the devil will be close to us. This is a time to reflect on our lives and charge ourselves. A time to draw closer to God for protection. Hold it. <clears throat> you see, you all are correct. Yes. The Bible says on the last days, perilous times shall come, which are what? Dangerous times. Yes. yes. Well, you see, it's simple logic. If you are far from God, Alternatively, you must be close to the devil. But the question remains, at what distance D will you be far from God and not close to the devil? Oh, Dad, thank you. But please save your logic for the court. That is why we have decided that this family will go on a 21-day prayer and fasting, starting from tomorrow. It will be from six to six. This is the right time to be close to God, and only God can show us through this commitment. Yes. Mom, Dad, everyone, we didn't say the fasting should start now. It's tomorrow. Yes, so please eat while you can. Eat. It's up. I know our parents do not want to obey this program, so we need to make it easier for them. Do you have any idea? I know. I know they won't. But I have a couple of ideas in my head. And? If the children can fast, we can. <coughs> to be honest, I can't. I love my food. Whether it's sweet or not, I just love my food. I can't fast though. I don't think I can do it. <laughs> so if your little Bella can fast six to six. Are you telling me you can't? God did not create me the way he created her. We are different. I can't come and kill myself. No. I love my food. <laughs> Just give it a try. You'll be surprised what you can do. Hmm? Keep on trying. I can't. <laughs> I don't see myself doing that. Uh -uh. Trust in the Lord, okay? <laughs> you look lost. I hope it's not about the fasting the kids talked about. Do you think it's a joke? How can I fast from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m.? Huh. What is wrong with that? I know I can do it. It's doable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's doable to you, right? I can't try that. Do you want me to collapse in the courtroom as a result of hypoglycemia? Are you not the one that said we should be eating so that our eye will not turn and then we collapse so that the people start laughing that they have won the case? No, I will not let the enemies have their way. I won't try it. You are very selfish. Look at how you are thinking about yourself and not your son. Do you think he can do it? Instead of you to discourage him from this devilish idea. He chose the path. If he chooses to fast like our Lord Jesus Christ for 40 days and 40 nights, he may have the grace. He's doable, right? You can go ahead. But me, I know what to do to myself. You always prove to me that you're selfish. Eh eh. Eh eh. Watch your tongue, madam. Watch it.
money, Barzi. <laughs> Good day. <laughs> what are you doing in the kitchen? Oh, I, I mean, I was trying, you know, I'm hungry. I'm also hungry. Very, very, very hungry. Look at this children. <laughs> Nothing what happened? Here. Nothing here. <laughs> See, only God knows. These children have surreptitiously confiscated the contents of this deep freezer. Only God knows where they must have raptured it to. Look. So what are we going to do now? We need to find something to eat fast. Okay. Let's prepare for rich No, that will take a lot of time. You are fulfilling the lust of the flesh, the desires of your gastrointestinal tract, Nos Matilda. Hmm. Last night you were running your mouth. It's dribble, 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 calling me selfish. Here you are, hmm? Honorable Matilda. Who is selfish now? Hmm? Talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening here, choir master? Is this how you organize your choir rehearsals? <laughs> Young boy, what did you see? I was just talking to the sister. Yes, I the church and in this hidden corner. No wonder God is far from his people. Because those who are supposed to sing to his glory are busy dining with the devil. It's okay, little boy. Actually, I wasn't doing anything wrong, eh? Do you understand me? And I don't want you to say this to anybody. Yes. Anybody! Okay, okay. I'll buy you biscuit and chocolate, I promise. Yes. Leave me! We are not that kind of children mm. that their sense of letting people about God's way will be bought over by earthly things. Instead of you cry for God to forgive you, you want to bribe us. Now listen, and listen good. At your age, you are supposed to be looking for toys to play with. Instead of advising adults like us. When elders have swapped places with children, what do you expect? Repent now before it's too late. Repent, better repent. Will you get out of here okay, five minutes by? Oh, sorry. We are masters, so don't shout on them. You're lucky you are not in the times of the Old Testament. I'm sure you know what the penalty for this is. May God forgive the both of you. Let's yeah. go. Let's go. Who just shall never end go? Children of Look at these little kids. Huh? Are they children or ancestors? I don't know. It's all your fault. Why would you be in this kind of place to talk to me? No, you don't have to. Living our our uh, uh, where he over there. No. Just leave me alone. Listen, you don't have to be angry. Leave me. Leave Forget me alone. Forget about what just happened now. Kabiye Osiyo. Kabiye Osi, can I hear your voices now? Kabiye Osi. Singing out to a holy God with simple voices. Which 
type of nonsense is this? Did anyone send you to me? No, we came to stop this sinful choir from singing to God with sinful voices. Thank you. And what gave you the impetus to come here and interrupt us? I wonder. Look at what this sister is doing to this brother. This keyboardist. And you that is looking at you. You, 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 you. Yes, you. Who are you and who sent you? Who are you? I can see your sitting positions. How some of you have paid yourself, just like the choir master and sister Ngozi. You just gathered yourselves here and sin and sing it to your holy God. What nonsense? Do you know the gravity of crime you have committed? Tell them what. Now, wait, wait, wait. Let me ask you a question. Where is your choir master? Where is he? Where is he? Answer the question. He is out there dining with Sister Ngozi. Look at him. Look at your choir master. Will you shut up? Shut up! How dare you talk about my choir master like that? He's not the kind of. Are you talking about this man? This man that I'm looking at like this? He was outside with his sister Ngozi, dining with the devil. If the head is bad, what can you make of the body? Hmm? Answer. You, 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 you. If you know you are here to worship God for you, step back and do so. Otherwise, please, 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 respect him and leave. That is the door. Anyway, I will not call you a sinner. I will not judge you because this Bible did not say we should do so. So be the judge of yourself. My work here is done. Let me read my Bible. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. You left us here and sister, I'm going to do extra meeting outside. Anyway, I'm out of this business. How dare you drag our name to the mud? What an insolence. Anyway, I'm out. Um, you, please, you don't have to. You don't have to do what? Can you just... Please, you don't have to go. You don't have to. Please. Sister Philo. Good day, Pastor. You asked to see us. Yes. Yes, I asked to see two of you. But how are you doing? We are fine, as you can see. God's grace has not departed from us. But with the way the church is going, God's grace has not departed from this church. And what is the meaning of that? Sin! Sin that takes away the glory of God from people. I'm sure you will not understand. Well, I, I don't understand what you're saying. I actually called you here to warn you people. I heard you disrupted the choir rehearsal. What? The steps you're taking is way bigger than you. You are not qualified for the steps you're taking. Listen, let me tell you. If you see, hear, or observe anything going wrong in this church, it is not your duty to correct it. It is my duty as the resident pastor. All you need to do is to come back to me, tell me this is what is going wrong, and I will address it as the Spirit leads me. Mm, I understand your type. Doing the work God has given you with pride instead of giving it with humility. If you continue like this, you will not make heaven at all. Huh? What you are doing is encouraging iniquity by covering their sins instead of rebuking them and showing them the right thing to do. If they die in their sins, you will be responsible for their lost souls. Think about it. Can we leave, sir? What? What is giving these people, these kids, the courage, the zeal, the passion, the impetus to talk to me that way? What? David, my son. Ma. I am strong and better. I thank Almighty God for using you to heal me. Oh, thanks be to him. But the doctors don't want me to go. 
I know you have been healed. Just that, the doctor wants to be sure if you are fit to go home. Yeah. Allow them, they are also a tool in the hands of the Almighty, and you will use them perfect that which contains your health. Well, I am just taking it as if a time for me to rest yes. and regain my strength. I am also happy here. If not, I wouldn't have met you. Yes. And I have been eager to bless you people. God is doing wonderful work with both of you. Yes. The devil will never, ever near you people. Yeah. Mm. David. Ma. My daughter. Father, let these children that are going out and coming in be a blessing. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for these children and for the good work that you have given them to do. Bless them, Amen. help them, Amen. guide them, Amen. protect them. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. What did he do this time? Eh? What did he do this time, Pastor? What he? There. I said, them. Yes. You mean Bella was with him all the while? Hey. This combo, these children. I, they will not snuff out the little divinity left in me. No, I'm sorry. You won't even believe that these people disrupted choir rehearsal without my permission as the resident pastor. Jesus Christ. What effrontery. Please, sir, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why, because I know they are children to my deacon. That's right. Then I called them inside just to address the situation privately do you know that these kids looked into my eyes and told me that i the resident pastor of this ministry is encouraging iniquity in brooklyn what effort i am encouraging iniquity now let me ask you as the deacon in this church hmm. as the resident pastor is it not my responsibility to oversee the activities in this church that's right it's my responsibility. And I do not need children that are not well brought up by their parents to come into the house of God and dictate to me how to run the affairs of my calling. Sir, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, children of nowadays, as a result of so much education and modern training, they seem to have no regard for elders or even gray hair again. Please forgive them. They do not know what they are doing. Yes, please. They don't know what they are doing. That's right. That is why I called you and you are their parents. Please, teach them what they should know. Guide them what they should know. Because if at the end these children fail, you would have failed in your responsibility as a father. Remember what the Bible says? He will require their blood from you as a father. God forbid, sir. I'm sorry. I will do my best. I can assure you, sir, this is the first and the last time they will ever behave or misbehave in this manner in their earthly life. God. I assure you, it will never repeat itself again. God. These children, these children, they shall not kill me. They shall not kill me. There shall be no loss. What in the world is wrong with both of you? Eh? How dare you go to the house of God and truncate a peaceful choir rehearsal house? Are you a choir member? Eh? Are you the choir leader? Oh, Dad. I'm sorry. I didn't know when I did that. I think I was guided by the Holy Spirit. Two choir members were having fun in the house of God. That happens to be a holy place. You are committing a sin right there in the house of God. And Brother David here simply called them to order. How is that a crime? It is a crime because that is not your jurisdiction. You don't have right there who has made you judge over them. Every system has laid down protocols. And to make matters worse, when Pastor Bill don't come both of you to order, you look at him in the eyes and accuse him of encouraging iniquity. Hey, aren't you scared that the God of this holy man may have sent fire from the sky to consume both of you. Eh? Aren't you scared? And why should they be scared to speak the truth? 
The church is a hospital for sinners and not a hotel for people who practice self-righteousness like you and the others who deceive people with the Bible. If a sinner is not told of his sins in the church, where else will he be told of the truth? If we parents do not agree that we are sick, now you tell me, how then can we be treated? Woman. Woman! Do not upturn my resolution next time before these kids. Do you understand? Watch it! Watch it! Nonsensical. What can you tell me? Aside from case proceedings, that is not within your jurisdiction to do nonsense. Imbroglio. No, 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 no. This is totally unacceptable. I am the man in this house. How dare you challenge me, Maltida? Eh? How could you, a young girl that I got married to just yesterday, Challenging me before these children. Hmm. This is a disgrace to me as a man. I will not let this happen again. People are already doubting my capacity to lead this family by these children's behavior. I need to act fast before they turn me to the child and they become my parent. No, no, no. I won't take this. Anything is possible in this generation of assertive people. States before. Is there something you'd like to share? This life is not balanced at all. There has never been a time the life is balanced. What is the problem? I wonder why marriage is like this. When you're dating, everything looks rosy and flawless. But once you're married, the man changes and you start seeing the other side of him. They are a bunch of pretenders. They will start telling you what to do and what not to do. Giving you rules and regulations. It is so bad. And I don't know how I'm going to continue with this nonsense called marriage. Honestly. I thought I was the only person having a rethink about this whole thing called marriage. I know the man God prepared for me is somewhere having fun with another woman while I'm here stuck with this proud hypocrite. This adult self. They are so complicated that sometimes I wonder if they really know what they are doing. They even complicate things further for themselves and everyone. Look at what they were saying. They need prayer intervention. The devil is looking for how to cause trouble in this household, and we need to stand in the cap before it's too late. There is nothing God cannot do. We have to pray for them. Let us pray. <laughs> In Jesus' name, Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. Heavenly Father, we commit our parents into your hands. Father, oh Lord, we know you knew them even before we came into their lives. We pray everlasting, Father, that you shall help them to understand what marriage means in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, oh Lord, do not allow the devil, do not allow the enemy to get in the way of their happiness. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. do not allow them to continue thinking about 
complicating things about marriage in Jesus' name. Amen. Help them only to think about what you mean to them in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, Lord, unite them in peace, harmony, and love in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. May nothing separate them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. May nothing separate them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. May nothing separate them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, oh Lord, may they stay together in love, peace, and harmony. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Before we share this food, can I ask a question? Okay, make it fast and brief, please. Eh? Okay. Why the plenty food and fruits? It's for us to break our fast. But if you kids are not ready to break yours now, it's okay. Who is mocking who here? How do you mean, son? Ending the fast and trying to eat whatever you missed makes a lie out of the fast. I agree with you, Sister Bella. You people can deceive us, but not God. I know you people cannot stay without food. Some of you have been taking coffee to console yourselves. Some went to the restaurant to eat earlier and came home with the receipts. Some have been taking light food like bread in secret. Now you gathered food and fruits as if you are celebrating food festival. If you give room to the devil, the devil will take over your lives. We are trying our best and God is seeing how much we are trying. I've been expecting a call. Yes, yes, everything is okay. We're good. Yes, 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 I have the document. I've checked everything. Oh, that's fine. Fantastic. <laughs> we can do that right away. Honey? Why do you want to change what you were wearing before? It's okay. Yes, I understand. I just got a call from Prof. A very important client is here for inspection. So I need to show him that property. He has his cash, everything ready. The document will just finish up and he makes transfer. That means you're not coming to church with us today? <clears throat> of course. I would rather be in a place where I'll make more money than go to a place where I'll spend it. Help me, please. Oh, this I'm getting strangled here. Eh? The name of Fitted. Give me allowance. You see, Fitted, Fitted, Fitted. Hmm? If the pastor asks after me, tell him I'm not in town. <laughs> what a lovely way to begin the weekend. Ah. <sighs> okay. <laughs> ah. I'm so happy that this pastor John Paul that is speaking today. His messages are always on point. Yeah, dear. Yes. Dad, are you going to church dressed like this? Yes. No, no, no. I'm not going to church. Hmm? Mm. I'm going to the office. Office? Yes. There's this important deal I need to seal on Sunday morning. <laughs> How can you be going to work when yes. it's time to serve the Creator? I believe the Creator will understand because mm -hmm. this orchestration can only be by the Creator. I've been chasing this deal for the past three months. Just imagine, on the Sunday morning, I should go and take it. Don't you think mm. so? I don't know what else to tell you, Dad. You are gradually derailing from this heaven. Improbio. Now, would you rather have me be in a place where I'll be deficient of expenditure capacity or go to a place where I'll generate more funds and fund the gospel? No, I'd rather be in a place where I'll make more money so that I can have more money to fund the church. Do you understand? See you when I see you. All right. Don't worry. That's when you pray for me, yeah? Sorry, oh. It's okay. Mm -hmm. See you. Mm -hmm. All right, then. Mom, you're delaying us. Mom! Mom! Let's go. Sorry, I think you all weak. Yes, yes, yes. Right now. Come on, 
I know you want it. Or don't you like what you're saying? Doing is wrong. Stop that. What? What's wrong with you? What, what's wrong with you? What is it? You should have allowed me to tell her the truth. You are lucky you are just a little girl. Otherwise, a slap would have done the magic. What wrong did she do? What wrong did she do? Yes. Are you pretending you did not see what she did in Pastor Biodo's office? She did the right thing. You should be proud of your daughter. Hmm? How can a woman leave her house to come to the church just to seduce and confuse the man of God? Eh? She did the right thing. Um, Barrister. Prof, prof. I don't want to lose that land. I love the position. And it is good for business. That's right. You see, I want my wife to build stores on that land. <laughs> prof, prof. This is very strategic land, no doubt. But you see, the question I would like to ask, or points to clarify, is who paid for the property first? Is it you or Mr. Johnson? <laughs> Barrister, does that matter? No. What matters here right now is that I want that land. Okay. Look, they have accepted my money and I want you to do a refund to them, whatever they have paid. Prof, Prof. You see, in cases like these, the evidence of payment, the receipts, always say otherwise. And once there is a contradiction, of course, you get back your money. Mm. Mm. That will not be a problem. Just backdate my payment just to make me the owner of the land. And that's it. Prof, Prof. Well, I'm sure you know that turning back the hand of time comes at a great expense. Are you ready for the financial implication of turning back the hand of time? Barrister. <laughs> Name your prize. If I know you can make this work. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that case, <laughs> we'll work at it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Just hold this. Thank you. I'll join you in it. Thank you. Uh, it. Yes. How are you, kids? Is there anything the matter? Why do you want to pay my dad to help you lie? So because you have money, you think you can control people to get whatever you want. Collect on that person's lands that do not belong to you. Are you a Christian at all? Do you know that evil people like you will go to hell? Yes. We do not want you to continue confusing our dad to help you collect on that person's land. So, Get up and leave. Are you talking to me? Of course. Get out of my father's house. Now. You can look for that lawyer to lure to hell. Leave our father's house before the fire from his Bible will bring you down. Stand up and move. Get up. Are you doing this? Come on, get out of my father's house. Hi, wait, 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 wait. Go. Go, 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 go where? In my father's house. What's wrong with you? Leave this place now before the fire from his will consume you. Do you want us to expose your evil? Leave now. I used to stand in there. Get up. Come on, come on, get up. Get up. Move. Stand up. Wait, I'm going! Move. I am going! Move. Get out of my father's house! I forgot now my Bible I've told because of this evil man! Prof? Prof? But I told him you should wait for me here. Prof? Prof. Ha, prof. Hey, no, 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 no. Prof. This is no rapture. 
Prof. 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 Did you see Professor Owanga that was seated here? Yes, we yes. sent him out. You sent him away? Yes, we heard everything you are saying. We were listening to you from this window. Daddy, why? Why do you want to commit sin? Because of money. Do you know that money is the root of all evil? Love of money will take you straight to hell. Shh. Repent. Shh. Hey, perfectly. In Brooklyn. Anomie. What is self-inflicted economy? Shh. What is socio-economic sabotage? A calculated attempt to inhibit my chances of becoming a multi. Shh. If I hear them, I will extricate your existence into the abyss. If not that you are my children. Expound oh. yourself. Kill of my parents. Kill them. Come down, Barista. Calm down. Calm down. Don't commit murder. Calm down. Calm down. Just tell me you're looking for an excuse to send them away. The last time I checked, Bella is not my daughter. Neither is she yours. So let them take her and all of them get out of my domiciliation. Simple. Are you telling me that David, your son, who wants you to be a good father and do the right thing, is above the law? <laughs> Why don't you send David and I away too? You can get it twisted if you like. Twist and turn it, woman. But I'm fed up. The last time was the step too far. I, Barrister Dickey, cannot continue to condone those excesses. Enough is enough. Let them leave. They go nowhere. <laughs> I cannot stand here and watch you throw my sister and family into the streets. I have equal rights to this house, just like you. Woman! Hold it there. I can see you've grown wings. And now you want to challenge my authority in this house. Let me make it crystal clear to you. Look at you. The last time I checked, it's not your salary that is clothing you this way. Hmm? And I cannot continue to lose money because of these children. Enough is enough. I don't want them in this house. Simple and short. They go nowhere. I cannot stand here and watch you throw my sister and her family into the streets. I have equal rights in this house, just like you. Okay. For the obtained time, woman, don't you dare challenge my authorities in this house. You can choose to go with them if you like. I don't care. But I've made my point and let this be the last time you ever challenge my authority in this house. Enough is enough. I'm done talking. Call it whatever you want to call it. But I cannot stand here and watch you disgrace my sister and her family. What is your problem? What did the kids do? Simply because they saw you doing something evil and stopped you? Now, if you want all of us to leave this house, I will do that. I will leave same with them. Use the door. Do you think it's still safe for us to stay here? What nonsense are you talking about? Do, does it look as if we have an option here? That is why I'm asking. We need to know what we are doing in order to put Bella in our plan. Look, Bella is the only reason why I am this confused. My problem is how do we separate Bella from their son? Children like this are very difficult to control. Let's allow God to take care of them the way he wants. I am not as strong as they are. But I still think they are doing the right thing. Let me go and see what they are doing. You kids will have to go and apologize to your father. Mm -hmm. But mom, did we do anything wrong? No, we did not. He shouted at us. That one did not bother me. But I still not go and apologize to him. No, mom. Bella and David, he is an adult hmm? and he is way much older than you people and adults are always right. Hmm? You have to go and apologize to him. Besides David, he is your father, okay? Does it mean if adults are doing something wrong, we should ignore and not set them right? 
No! You tell them what they are doing is wrong because they are adults. Sometimes you adults confuse us. You complicate things and those things end up complicating your lives. Yes. Mom, Auntie, I do not think it's wise for us to apologize to him. But if you think we should, then we will. Moms, we are actually expecting a thank you from you. Yes. Not forcing us to go and apologize. But as David said, we will obey and apologize. Yes. Why are the both of you here? If you are here to further aggravate my anger, I advise you to respect your young ages. Hmm? Get out of this territory before I lose my temper. We are sorry, sir. <clears throat> we are not here to get too more angry. We are actually here to apologize to you, Dad. We are sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Will your sorries bring back my client? Will your sorries transmit a message to him that I, Barista DK, was not among any plot to embarrass and humiliate him out of my territory? Maybe your sorry will restore to me the millions I've lost today. Hey! Eh? Oh, you're quiet. Eh? Maybe your tongues are now glued to your palates. I am surprised that you are angry with us because we came to apologize to you. Yes. Are we really supposed to be apologizing for helping you? <laughs> I am angry because you made me lose a lot of money today and a valuable client. Vanity. In the book of Romans, the Bible said, Should we continue in sin that the grace might abound? Tell him. Do you wish to continue dying with the dead because of ugly things? We saved you from the hands of that evil man that wanted to lure you straight to hell. He was deceiving you with his money so you can help him collect another man's land. That is a sin and God will not be happy with you. You need repentance. Total repentance. So that God will save you. Yes. The worst is that those who are supposed to be helping him do not seem to be doing so. Yes. I think I need to speak to our pastor and see if he's different. Hey! Yes. Get in the hell. May God forgive you! Pastor, <laughs> to be sincere with you, that text, I hope all is well in the vineyard of the Lord. Um, DK, DK. Sir. I know you are well learned. And I'm sure that text message is self-explanatory but let's face the truth the way it is what your children are doing in this church good they are correct they are near perfect then sir i understand them bit. but god is god of principle i'm sure you know that that's right what your children doing instead of beautifying the church of our lord jesus christ it is scattering it it is scattering the choir it is scattering the members but then i understand everything but not all of us do the elders are seeing it that you have failed in your responsibility as a father though i am seeing it differently but as a father of all, I have to take my position. Dickin Dickin, it is hard to say. But if instead of saying, go for suspension, I would rather put it this way. I want to send you on a missionary work. One month missionary work. Whereby you fast and pray not just for this church, but for your children. Then, after the prayer and fasting for one month, you come back and receive your father's blessing. Sir, while I love to submit to spiritual authority, 
Don't you think, sir, this is a calculated attempt to disenfranchise me and my family from enjoying the glorious assemblage of the righteous? Nonetheless, while I love to submit to spiritual authority, don't you think this is a gross violation of my spiritual rights? It's going um, to be a very hard one for me. I don't think so. But be it as it may, this is the decision of the church. It's okay. See you after one month. No problem. Look, why will a church suspend a member? A deacon for that matter. This is why I've always said that most of these churches are business centers. called me to come to her. I tried, but when she started coming close, I ran away. She cried and started begging me to not go. Mm. It's the work of the devil. And we need to pray about it. I don't think I can stay here. Hmm? Bella, where are you going to? Bella, wait! Wait! Bella, what is it? Why are you here? Can I sleep here tonight? Why? Because I want to sleep here. Provided you're not going to disturb our peaceful sleep. Hmm? I promise to press tonight if I have to. Okay. In that case, come in. Hmm? Thank you. What do you think about the dream Bella said that she had? Hmm. You know, I don't believe much in dreams, church, prayers, and all that. You do. I think I should be the one asking you, what do you think the dream means? Honestly speaking, I'm not making sense out of the whole scenario. How can a mad woman be calling her? It's not making sense to me. Oh? Could it be she needs help and knows that Bella can actually help her? Deliverance. She may be in need of deliverance and feels that Bella can help her get delivered. You see, that's why I don't like all these church things. You get involved and somebody is disturbing you spiritually. <laughs> I don't get power back. That is why I said that you're spiritually lazy. You need help, are you? I think I have to talk to David to help you. Maybe they will. No, no, you are the one that needs all the help you can get. Please, don't discuss me with anybody, please. I don't want anybody to come disturbing me. I've had enough of this discussion. I need to go freshen up. I'm getting late to work. You need to pray about this dream. It's deeper than you think. Do you think prayer will work? I'm thinking of adding fasting to it. I want God to reveal to me what this dream means. Not all prayers requires fasting. If you pray and concentrate, God will show you a clearer vision. I personally will assist you in prayers. And I'm very sure this our wonderful family will do the same. Thank you, David. May God bless you. Amen. What are friends for? If not to assist one another. It's not a problem now. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, welcome, brothers. Welcome. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters in the Lord. Welcome, brothers. My friend, come and sit here. You know, I deserve this special seat for you. I think we have a good number of us now. Right? Yes. So we can begin. 
We gathered you all here so that we can have a fellowship. We'll be doing this from time to time. We need to draw you closer to God and study the word of God together. But before we begin or commence this fellowship, we will start by praising and worshiping God. Sister Bella, yes? please lead us in wonderful choruses. Okay. Everyone bear your feet, let's sing praises to the Lord. Yeah, your feet, stand up. Let's worship God. Are you tired? Okay, stand up, it's time to worship God. Lift him up higher, lift him up Our today's topic today says the love of Christ for us. And our text will be taken from the book of John chapter 3 verse 16. And it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. And I am very, very sure that there is no man on this earth that will be able to sacrifice his one and only child his one and only son just to save the life of others from perishing. Is there anyone that can do that for you? Yeah. Can your father do it for you? No. But Jesus Christ sacrificed his life for us. That is why we should acknowledge him. We should acknowledge his love by following his ways, by obeying his ten commandments, by doing all the things he asked us to do in the Bible, by doing all this asks us to do in the Bible. But first, we'll start by learning the Ten Commandments. Do we know the Ten Commandments? Yes. yes. Ah, yes. Welcome, sir. Welcome. In Brooklyn. Perfidy. What an illegal assemblage by young juvenile homo sapiens. In my sacred condominium, a gross violation of my territorial integrity Boom, peaceful coexistence in this domicilation. David, if not that you are my son, I would have charged you on at least two count charges. Hey, one, for violating and trespassing my territorial integrity, and secondly, for constituting a nuisance in this domicilation. Now, before I open my ocular orifices, expunge yourself from this sacred condominium. I mean, get out of my house. Now leave this place! Move! <laughs> close the door behind you! Come here, come here! Close up. Now, cl close Close up. This is the first and the last time the two of you confer an illegal assemblage of young juvenile religious enthusiasts in my sacred condominium. Sometimes the way they behave make me think they are not Christians. They don't have faith in what you are doing. That is why I said you need to calm down. The devil wants to use them against us, but we need to keep praying for them. Soon God will open their eyes and they will see things clearly. Where's my baby? Why are you hiding her from me? Where is my baby? 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 What is it? Honey, what is it? I know it's me. Similar to Bella's own. A nightmare similar to Bella's own. But I thought all this were over from the onset. I'm scared. 
scared. I'm so worried. Look, darling, it's only a dream. Okay? It's only a dream. An evil manipulation. Nothing else. I, I hope so. It's okay, it's okay. Else everything will fall apart. Nothing is falling apart. I'm here for you, baby. Huh? Go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. Okay? Go back to sleep. We need to talk. Same people sleep at this time of the night. Yeah? And reasonable people think about a solution to their problems. And what problem are you talking about? I don't like the way we relate in this house. We are supposed to be husband and wife. But sometimes I feel we are relating like boss and servant. <laughs> Fantastic. At least there's a relationship. I'm the boss, and you are the servant, so live with it. I refuse to accept that. You make decisions and conclude without discussing it first with your wife. I've always told you to listen. Because where I come from, you know it. Women don't have a say. They listen and obey, so follow suit. I am your wife for crying out loud. We need to restructure the way things are in this house. I am not liking it at all. At first, I thought we were going to say we need to restructure Nigeria. It would have been easier for us to be on the same page. But you see, first go and restructure David's mentality. Because the only way David is still in this house is because of societal perception and what the church would think of a deacon, Barrister Dickey if he sends his own son out of his house. So go and restructure his mind first. That is the problem with you. You're better at being a public figure than being a husband and a father. You're a hypocrite. And you have to stop it so that you will see the right path. Hold it. I'm not ready for insult. I'm not ready for lectures. You said it. At least, if you don't like the relationship status of the boss and the servant, get out. On behalf of Sister Bella, Badolo, you know what she has been passing through concerning the dreams she has been having. Badolo, it has come to my notice that she has had this same dream two times, King of Glory. We pray, Balasi Father, for a revelation in Jesus' name. Amen. Let there be a clearer revelation in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Help her to understand it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Reveal unto her all that she needs to know. But I will give her the grace, O King of Glory, that she shall pass through this trying time of her life. In the mighty name of Jesus. But I will not allow her to fall out of the face during this time in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Give her the grace, King of Glory. Give her the grace, King of Glory, for it is not easy, King of Glory. Help her to pass through this this trying time in the mighty name of Jesus. But oh Lord, let it be a revelation, King of Glory. <laughs>
Bella, did you have the dream again? Was it clearer this time? No. This time, her baby was stolen from her, and I could not do anything about it. This is more confusing, David, and I need your help. You don't have to feel that way, Bella. Mind you, we prayed for this. We'll continue praying, and God will show you a clearer picture as the prayer continues, and you will be able to understand it properly. Please pray with me, David. Always. In Jesus' name. Amen. Well. Good morning, David. Yes, I did. Hope you rested well, too. Yes, though the devil tried to rob us of sleep. But we won. Mimi? Mm -hmm. Never mind. But, Aunt, can I ask you a question? Sure, feel free. Did you have a dealing with a madman before? Why do you ask? Never mind, never mind. Town. Talk more of his in this hospital. <sighs> I was shocked when I saw her. This is not good at all. What will happen if she sees me and I am the nurse monitoring her? What then are we going to do? We need to act fast, very fast, Matilda. We need to do something. Whatever you need to do, you do it fast before she regains her consciousness. Okay, leave that for me. I know what to do. Whatever you're doing, do it fast. Ma, your attention is needed in what, 205? Mr. Ayo, what is it? Oh. You've been acting strange since I returned from work. Oh. Nothing really. I'm fine. I'm sure you know you can talk to me. Perhaps I may be able to help you. You may never know. Well, you know, to be a man is not easy. I mean, you know how all these things work out. <laughs> One keeps thinking, planning for the family and all that. I understand. But the major problem is that my house, the reconstruction is taking too much time. It's stressing me out. I can understand. Mm. Couple with the Tom and Jerry of Bella and David that we have in this house. You can really drive one nuts. You can say that again. I can't wait for when. <laughs> I'll separate the two of them for good. <laughs> Sincerely, I look forward to that day when Bella and David We'll be pulls apart for good. <laughs> it's all right. It's okay. We need to do something. What can we do? The truth must not come out. I don't want it either to come out. But what can we do? Anything at all, provided the truth does not come out. Are you sure of what you're saying? Hmm. Very sure. Mom, Mom, wait. Are we going to the hospital? You want to go for evangelism? 
No. Sorry, you can't go to the hospital today or any other day until I say so. But why, aunt? Because why, I mom? Said so. You are not to be found there. Do you understand? Yes, yes mom. mom. But please give us reasons. I owe you no explanation. Just do as I say. Now get inside the house. Something is wrong. I have never seen my mom like this before. She has never stopped us. Where did she? Also, she has refused to give us reason. Do you think she is hiding something from us? Yes, I have that feeling. She's trying to hide something from us. I'm worried. Don't be. We'll have to find out what is happening. Should we disobey my mom? No, we should not disobey her. We will have to find out what is happening. Adults are always hiding things, feeling they are doing the right thing, but often fall into trouble, and they will have to tell several lies to cover them up. Yes, but from the look on her face, you can easily tell she's worried. I just pray she's not in trouble in the hospital. I just got off the phone now with Matilda. Agatha is awake and she's threatening to speak. She dares not. Then you have to make sure of that. She dares not, she dares not. What is this information that this person has that must not be heard by others? She's dead, and we are taking her to the mortuary. Please, can we have a minute with her? No, sorry. It's not possible. We can't do that. Besides, your kids. That is why you'll be with us. Let's just have two minutes with her. Let's just pray for her, please. Kids, what's the problem? Sir, we want to pray for her, at least before she's taken to the mortuary. Nurse, please, allow them to pray for her. Before taking her to the mortuary, please. It's okay. Okay, you have just two minutes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. When we pray, we hear the voice loud as we wait. Nothing more matters to us. Solution comes knocking at the door. Not by might, nothing good comes by your size, not by gender, not by age. Everything. Lady! Mom! Bella! What are you doing here? Doctor. The Lord 
has done it again. Yes. We just pray for someone. Agatha by name. Yes. She's alive. She's, yes, alive. she's alive. The Lord has done it again. Oh, glory be to God. Glory Thank be to God. God. Doctor, will she be fine? I guess so. Um, but she seems to have slipped into a coma. Ha! Now, wow! So, how did it happen? Unbelievable. They prayed for her. Those kids prayed for her. Yes. And this is what happened. Very wonderful. Okay. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I'm happy about that. Um, take her back to the ward. I'll be there to see her shortly. Hmm? Madam Agatha was revived today. She's a teen of joy. I'm sure God brought her back for a reason. And all those who are trying to shut her up forever should be careful, else God go against them and they know what that means. Imbroglio, I can see that you're under the influence of this delicacy. As a result of hyper deployment of these gastrointestinal tract facilities into your stomach, you are now blabbing rubbish. This is an unsolicited powder. Some people have secrets they intend to keep. But God knows even our deepest secrets. So, before he exposes you in his own way, speak up. I might be too young to tell you more, but you all are old enough to know what follows. So, make your choice. to believe that our parents almost committed murder today. What does she know that the words are to be silent forever? What is happening? What are we not doing right that God keep putting us in situations like this? We have been faithful. Yes, we are kids and our naive sides will show him from time to time. But God, please don't punish us through our parents. Thanks for giving Auntie Agatha back her life. Could you throw more light on what transpired at the dining? Hmm? I'm still trying to place a finger on what those children were saying. You should have asked the kids. Don't bother me. <laughs> <laughs> because you are acting strange. You didn't say anything at the dining. And then here you are, reading the Bible. <laughs> it's not in your character, Martina. Eh? Even the devil is laughing at you and sipping coffee. Take black one on your case. <laughs> I don't care what you think or how you feel. If you have questions, ask the kids and don't bother me. I see. You call me a hypocrite. Whereas... You are the real hypocrite. Well, to be modest, you are more of a hypocrite than I am. <clears throat> Maltina, Maltina, Maltina. Don't touch me. <laughs> hmm. Those children are too meddlesome for God's sake. What is their problem? Hmm? That woman was dead. They would have allowed that to remain so. Hmm. I'm being out of coma. Makes her a potential threat. Yeah. From the way they sounded, it's obvious they know we have a hand in it. We have to be careful. Else, we will be exposed. Hmm. What are we expected to do? Fold her hands and pray that she comes out of coma? Or what? No. I think we have to cool off for a day or two. Then after that, we know the next thing to do. It's fine, but risky. <laughs> Very risky. I never thought a day like this would come. 
that we will live in fear. I just hope this whole mess fades out fast. Mm. Hi. I pray so. <sighs> Let's go to bed. Hmm? I know your plan, but it failed woefully, and you expected me to remain in coma, right? <laughs> Sorry, God has given me back my life, and I know he did it for a reason. Being in coma will only slow the process. I don't have idea of what you're talking about. Ah, okay, an attempt was made on my life. And am I supposed to just act like I am stupid? 48 hours. That is all you get to speak up. If you don't, I will do the talking. You have your chance. Use it well. Please, don't do this. Allow things to remain the way they are. It is best for all. <laughs> if what we did was not a sin, then What's the matter if we speak out? 48 hours. That is all you get. Please, Auntie. We know you know something, which is why your life was put in danger. <laughs> My dear. Both of you are still kids. Please, I beg you. Don't involve yourselves in this. Whatsoever it is, I will handle it with your parents. Please. Please, Auntie. We need to know what happened to you. Yes. We need to stress something with our parents. We need to find out. Please, help us. My dear. Just a few days you will find out. I promise. Please. Hmm? We'll find out in a few days. It's a promise. Hmm? You have no right to talk to me like that. You are just a maid. We pay you salary. And you should be worshipping the ground I walk on. That's what my mom said. And if you scold me again, I'll teach you the lesson you never forget. Idiot. Who was the lady you just insulted? Who are you? Consider us your friends for now. Who is she? My clueless nanny. Do you know what your nanny goes through? She washes your clothes, she bathes you, cooks your meal, and cleans your room, and you call her clueless. She does more for you than your mom. I'm sure you will not insult your mom. Yes, but she's being paid. To work, not to take insults. No amount paid to her equates to work she does for you. Without her, you cannot do anything for yourself. And you think the money you pay is enough for you to insult her? If you are in her shoes, will you take it? God forbid, no one will insult me like that. I will not take it. Then do not dish out what you cannot take to others. And Chum, I'm sorry for insulting you. I promise it won't happen again. It's okay, Gloria. Your mom asked us not to leave the hospital. That's why I tried to stop you. I'm sorry. And what is going on here? Good day, ma. You're welcome. Why are you apologizing to Choma? Are you mad? Choma here is your maid, and you are the boss. Why say I'm sorry? Mom, these are my new friends, David and Bella. Mom, David and Bella here told me it's not good to insult someone who works for you because they are human too. And who are these two to say that to you? Both of you should listen to me very well. Choma here is her maid, and she is Choma's mistress. She has to obey Choma, practically worship the ground she steps on. Who are you to tell her what to do? Mothers like you are the problem this generation has. You do what you want without thinking about your children's future. You end up training naughty and violent children who destroy rather than to add to their society. I am disappointed that a mother will instill this kind of values in her daughter. Do you know the importance women have in the society? You are supposed to be builders, 
But these days, you train up destroyers and expect the world to be better. How? I'm trying not to say what's on my mind because you are older than the part of us. These beasts you are creating will end up destroying you. You always complain that your kids are bigger than you. Why they are the one destroying them, not teaching them what is right and wrong? Do not forget that you are an adult too. What you send to others will end up coming to you. Yes, and when that eventually happens, do not complain. Excuse me. I will tell you the story, but I promise you help me. Sorry, Barrister DK never promises until at least he knows what he's going into. Don't worry, hmm? I will help you if I have to, but at least tell me the story first. It happened years ago. <laughs> to help her. She's in labor. God is indeed partial. I am here looking for a child and my marriage is shaking. And a mad woman is in labor. Truly, truly, this life no balance. We need to help her. I'm in nursing school. I don't have idea of what to do. But I'll call someone. Please do. While I call I and my husband. What will you do with the baby? I will take her. Eh? It is illegal. We don't have baby of our own. If we leave this baby with this mad woman, she can't take care of her. She will die. I know. But we have to involve the police. No one is involving the police. We have to leave here immediately. We can discuss this later. Yes, yes. please. Ayo, yes. please drive us. Okay. This is a check of it's over a thousand naira. As agreed, you will take it and leave this time. Nothing, I repeat, nothing should be heard or spoken about this issue. Is that clear? With this, you will never see my face again. I don't know you. You don't know me. Good. Leave and never return. Stay abroad for a year or two, then return. Everyone will forget. No one will remember that you were ever pregnant or not. All right? Then try to reduce her age. But this must be between us. It's okay. What would we have done without you? You're a darling. It's not coming. What a family for. <laughs> Thank you, Sue. My, 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 my,
I have some things to do in this school. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. I'll Sorry. give you a call later. No problem. Okay. And then. Yes, yes. Promise me you take good care of the baby. Certainly, I will. Why sure. not? All right. It's okay, everybody. Did I say that be good? Yeah, I will. Now, suddenly, Agatha is back in town. And she wants to speak before she dies. Ayo made an attempt on her life. She died. But your almighty children brought her back to life. Now she has given me 48 hours to report the incident to the police, or she will. You mean something like this happened? And you never mentioned it? <sighs> so, Bella is that mad woman's daughter? Yes. Matilda, I know you have little faith in me. But this is too much for me to swallow. It's too much. I didn't know how to tell you. I didn't even know where to start. But please, you have to help me. Use your expertise as a lawyer to close this case permanently. Please. When we pray, we hear the voice loud as we Nothing more matters to us. 